Hello everybody, Sir Monkey City, I'm back again. <laughs> and, uh, well, um, for those of you who are like, you know, interested in football or watching the World Cup, I literally have just finished watching um, Germany get beaten by South Korea <laughs> and uh, get knocked out of the World Cup. Um, you know, me being English, Germans are our rivals, so uh, I'm very happy. I, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry for all of you uh, German fans out there who... Um, actually like football and are devastated honestly uh, your team has your team has absolutely fucked you over on that one um they were absolutely atrocious so yeah but uh, but <laughs> i'm happy though <laughs> oh man it's great right so uh wednesday tokyo ghoul um right yeah yeah so in the last uh, couple of episodes um well, the main bulk of it, anyway, there was, uh, the, they went to, uh, Cochlea? I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like the, uh, the imprisonment place, right? Um, kind of like the, uh, oh, shit. Drop my pen. <sighs> kind of like, uh, the raft from Marvel. Um, yeah, so, obviously, with Kaneki being a part of, like, um, Oigiri tree and whatnot. I've, I've obviously I've been wondering what his kind of goal was. Um, and clearly he has he has something like he has something on his mind. It's probably if I had to guess, it must be like he's trying to find answers for like uh, surrounding Riza, right? Because he went. To find this one guy called Orca, or Kamish Kamishiro, um, who apparently knows who who Rize is, um, and uh, like, but they didn't give us any answers uh, last episode. It was just like, you know, he came out of his like cell and then started fighting, and that was it. So you know, at the end of the last episode, though, Kaneki started like transforming and some weird shit, which I don't know what that's all about. Uh, So we'll see what the crack is with that. Um, we've got some more information on like um, like Amon and uh, what his, like, what happened to him uh, earlier on in his life. Um, and then we've got Ayato facing off against uh, um, Shinohara. So yeah, we've got fights going on all over the place. I'm sure we're going to get some resolution to. Uh, you know, at least some of it. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get into episode five, shall we? Again, this is full length. It's uh, you know, there's no footage in the corner for Tokyo Ghoul because of the obvious like copyright reasons um, and stuff like that. So uh, if you have your own reference footage, there'll be a timer. Uh, I count down from three to one. I say play. You hit play when I say play, and then you can watch the whole reaction along with me. All right. Okay. So, here we go. In three, two, one, play. CCG training. Are those two this are those Aren't those two on the left the twins? Oh no the girl died. Damn it.
How could you ever, like, compare dying to eating food or playing? <laughs> what? So, so they're killing ants. So they were, alright. So they were always ghouls then, I guess. Or maybe they were, um. Maybe they were like, uh, the same with Kaneki, like. What did he do? Hmm. So, all right. Oh yeah, the armor was um, his dad's, right? Or something like that. Or maybe the weapon was, but... It was something like that, right? Something that Shinohara is using was once... Ayato's dad's Kagane. How does this guy dodge a run like it's nothing? Is he a ghoul or not? I like how fluid his uh, his wings were there. 
It must be the armor, right? It must be that. That's why he's get. That must be. I think it's the armor. <clears throat> Oof. What happened there? Did he break his uh, his cog in there? Ah, come on. Why is this guy such an insane little shit? A lot of the blood there has been dry already. Hello! <laughs> How long have they been fighting here? Oh god, people don't know each other. So Fei and Yan were probably, I guess, ghouls at one point, must be. Second punch isn't going to do much. Last time you ever saw him, maybe. Hmm. 
Maybe he recognizes him, or... I don't know, maybe it's just it's because his eyes are, like, human now, I don't know. Maybe he's just... Who's that? Oh, Kaneki. Oh, shit. Yeah. It... Yeah, it's like a fucking... It's like a centipede. Holy shit. That's a Kakaja. So there's something different about it then. Oh shit, yeah, they're going to recognize, they're going to recognize. Oh god, what does this mean? What does this mean? So yeah, I guess the fight with Orca finished then. What, a what, a what is a Kakaja? Oh, sh sh I didn't even make that. Kakuho, what's that? It's going nuts. I never even made the... I never even made the centipede distinction between, um, between them. Because, yeah, fucking Yamori used a centipede, right? I wonder if there's something with that, then. It must be. Are they supposed to be used of quink bullets, maybe?
now they use this. What happened to using this like ages ago? Why is it just going off now? <laughs> so this should have hard done then, I guess. Must be. Hmm. It's crying again, eh? What on earth is that? That's who it is? Oh, Jesus. You look different. This one looks more like imposing, I guess, or like more. There's got to be a, d a difference, but I don't know. Hmm.
I do like how they change the endings for each episode here. It's almost like fan art. <laughs> Okay. Right. Episode 5. Well, yes, there was... I mean... Well, first of all, I, 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 I didn't get any answers to, like, that orca guy, I guess. I mean, I can only assume he's been taken care of. Um, I've got to open up the window, like, more because uh, it's so warm. <laughs> It's like, you know what I mean? If I stick my hand out there, it's like no cool. There's no cool air at all. Pointless. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I mean, I assume he's he's like, being taken care of, or like you know what I mean? Because it feels like when Kaneki was in that form, he was like taken over, like he didn't have any control. Um. But Amon could still get through them, though. I just don't know, like, how... Because if... Like, well, Kaneki never got... Of what I assume, right, what Kaneki was there for was to go see Orca, right? He had to have. And Orca knew who Rizia was. So my only guess would be that he wanted to go get answers regarding the Reese, but then like he never got them while he was in his like normal his normal form and then he got taken over by this fucking this uh Kakaja I guess which is which is what it was called which is mental because I didn't I guess a Kakaja like feeds upon the user I guess because I remember them saying Kakaja for like that armor thing that the Shinohara uses um But it gives you extra power, kind of thing. So, if like Kaneki had lost control, then uh, like you know what I mean? Why would he have just completely left Orca and then gone for Shinohara? Or like, well, I guess he went to kind of get Ayat out of the way, but he, he like then he went for. Sh so I I guess he's just killed off I, I guess he's killed off Orca then and just so he's not gonna get answers anyway like I don't know maybe the mission was just to free a load of ghouls I guess um Also, an interesting question is like, why would they lock them up? Because if they're so like, I get, uh, I don't know. I guess research purposes, I suppose. Um, because it just seems like they're out there like killing them and stuff. They weren't even trying to take them in, kind of thing, you know. So, it just seems weird why they would lock up some and then just kill other ones and things. So I don't know. Um. Yeah, and not only uh, did Shinohara point out it was a Kakuja, he said Kaku who? Like. I 
I, I'm sure I'm positive they have never explained that one before. So I don't know what the difference is between a Kagane. Well, I guess a Kagane is just a pot, like a, just a, a ghoul sort of physical manifestation. That's kind of what I assumed. That's kind of like what I think it is. A Kakaja is like something that feeds upon the per like the the ghoul in question or the person in question, and then. So what's a what's a kaku who then? I don't know what that is. I'm trying to think of what it could possibly be, but I don't I I don't know. Uh, hopefully we'll get some answers on that. Um So the the, uh, the 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 sort of the twins, um they're not particularly twins. I'll just call them twins because that's kind of like... Uh, yeah, it's, so the twins were like... They were off, I guess they must have been medically operated on to, to be become a ghouls. They must, they must have been. Because... Well, they're half, for starters. But they would never allow ghouls in the C CCG, right? And we still haven't got an answer as to if Suzuya is truly their brother or not. Because isn't that what they said when they jumped in? They were like, oh, we're coming here to get my brother. Which is Susie, yeah? But I just don't know why he's so nuts. Like, clearly we just haven't got enough backstory with the guy. But like, you know, he, he just, he's, he's just nuts and he doesn't care. He's a fucking psychopath. He's a sociopath. He's all of the above. I don't know if Shinohara. Well, first of all, like, I'll just get us out of it. So I guess Shinohara's dead then. At least in this, you might you'll you'll probably well you'll I guess I'll guess he'll still be alive in um, season three, but like I guess he's dead in, in this though now. He must be. Um. But yeah, when Shinohara was fighting Ayato, and uh, obviously Ayato was, I get, I guess he'd kind of run his course with his, uh, with his Kagane. Didn't have any energy left. He's like eyes turned from obviously being a ghoul to like back to like normal eyes. I guess, I don't know. That was the first thing I thought. Well, that's why Shinohara stopped. But if I'm putting everything together, and I guess Shinohara must have taken out Ayato's dad. Ido's father and taking his Kagane and, and obviously uses it and stuff. Then maybe it he's he just rem, maybe he just remembers the eyes, I guess. And maybe that's what just kind of stopped him in his tracks. Um. The CRC gas that they keep talking about it, it must just be effective against ghouls then. Although it didn't it didn't seem to affect. Um, it didn't seem to affect uh, Ayato or or, or uh, Kaneki that much. I was like, well, I had I like, you know, if it was Kaneki, then I guess you know, I was thinking like maybe his character just like because it feeds upon him and his power is so great, it doesn't affect him that way. Maybe it only affects. A, like regular Kagane instead. Um, hmm. It must do because it doesn't affect the it doesn't affect the humans. Um, and finally, the centipede thing. So the centipede is obviously like that is sort of the Kakaja that Kaneki sort of morphed into. <laughs> Um, I did. I completely missed the distinction last week. The distinction is that that Yamori was using a centipede in his torture. So, I just don't know where you get. Like, where does he get this from? Like, where does it spawn from? Is it just the idea of is it, is a Kagaja like something like where a Kagane just takes control and that's what it is? So it's not like a separate thing, it's just... 
it's just a Kaganir that's taken over the, the host kind of thing. And that's what it is. And it just comes in like some maybe like a physical embodiment of of um, something that is um, fuck. Oh, once again, Zach, you have the word and you can't fucking. Ugh. It's something like... Why can't I... Have to... oh, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it when, when I do this. I would think, th like, the character just something similar to that would take the form of something trauma traumatic. Traumatised, that was the fucking word I was using. So obviously he's torture and stuff like that. Because that's what he was mentioning throughout that whole thing, so... Obviously, it's like it's. I've kind of I can liken it to like Attack on Titan when, uh, when, um, you know, if if you don't have fully control over your Titan, it just re uh, relies on instinct. Whatever is like, you know, sort of like your biggest feeling at the time when you transform into that Titan. Like that's what it, that's what it's uh, like. It goes after. Um, that's what I feel like I, I can liken it to. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I never, I never made that distinction the first time around, which uh, maybe I should have, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, that is it for episode five. We're gonna move on to episode six right now. So thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.